Hi, this is Jenny Brav of Radiant Wholeness Healing, and today we're going to be exploring ancestral baggage. Now, to do really deep ancestral work, it requires more than a YouTube video, so you would definitely want to do this with a practitioner unless you've done extensive work yourself. But this is a way for us to introduce the topic, to explore a little bit some of the things we feel we might have inherited feel into the beliefs, the patterns, the coping strategies. And I have a blog post that's linked below that also talks a little bit more in detail about all of this and some of the indicators that this might be work we want to do is one is recognizing that you're replicating familial patterns or habits. Another is knowing that you have hypervigilance patterns that aren't really explained by things from your past or from your current situation. Also, stories, either success or failure stories that have been passed on to you might be another indicator. And when thinking about your family or your family history, feels heavy. And even though it might feel easier to do this work, if you know something about your family history, if you know your birth parents, even if you met very few people in your family or you've been adopted, it can be possible to feel into the energy of your lineage. And also because some of these can be learned behavior and not just passed on genetically. It can also work to, to do this with your adopted family if you were adopted. So without further ado, I invite you to sit comfortably. You can have a piece of paper near you if you want to. Water is always helpful. First, we're going to feel into what's here and then we'll do a little bit of tapping. So closing your eyes if that's comfortable. I invite you to take a few nice breaths. With each breath inviting yourself to drop in a little bit more deeply into your body into the present moment. And I invite you first to feel into any pattern you feel you might have inherited or coping strategy. Could be distraction or working really hard. Mistrust, it could be a coping strategy. Just noticing, and again, these might be things that you know you share with your family, or they might just be things you feel you came in with. And then start feeling into what belief might be associated with this pattern. It might be I'm all alone, the world is cruel, other people's needs matter more. It's not safe to be visible, whatever it might be, just noticing what belief might be there. And 
And just feeling into what might be the intention of this belief. Is it to keep you safe? To keep the family together? To be better than everybody else. And if nothing comes up for any of these questions, it's totally fine. You can just feel into what is here for you. And then ask yourself, and just to see if anything comes up for this, if it doesn't, that is totally fine. If this came from mom's side or, or dad's side, which might it be? And just notice if anything comes up. And when you're ready, if you want, you can open your eyes or keep them closed. We're going to do a little tapping and this will be more filling in the blanks where I'll be saying some things, having you repeat them, but then having you fill in what you were feeling for each one. Tapping on the side of your hand. Even though I have this pattern. And say out loud what the pattern is. And I think I inherited it from my ancestors. I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Deeply and completely. Even with all of this. Tapping on the head. Hello pattern, and name the pattern out loud again. Inside of the eyebrows, I acknowledge you. Outside of the eyes. I know you're there. Under the eyes, I've had you a long time. under and above the lips. Feels like I was born with you. Under the collarbone. And it's possible you weren't mine in the first place. Middle of the sternum. High belief. Tapping on the ribs. And name the belief that you might have identified. And if you didn't identify any belief, you can just repeat the pattern. Side of the body. High fear. inside of the wrist and outside of the wrist. I know you're trying to protect me from. And then name what you think the intention of the belief of the pattern is. Tapping on the head. I'm open to being grateful to you. Inside of the eyebrows. And I acknowledge any of my ancestors. Outside of the eyes who felt that they needed you. Under the eyes. 
Thank you for trying to keep them safe. Under and above the lips, helping them survive. Under the collarbone. Middle of the sternum. And the good news is, it's happening on the ribs, thanks to their sacrifices. Side of the body, the circumstances have changed. Wrist. It's safe for me to have the things that they couldn't have back then. Other wrist. And if and when we release this pattern, this belief, tapping on the head, they can also have what they couldn't back then through me. inside of the eyebrows. It's possible it's safe to release this belief outside of the eyes, this pattern. Okay, take a deep breath. under the eyes and let's check in. You can keep tapping, stop tapping, close your eyes. If they're open and just notice internally how much charge there is around the pattern or the belief you are looking at. If it still feels pretty contracted, I invite you to keep doing this part of the video a few times or as many times as you want until it feels like things have cleared if, if they haven't it probably needs means that there's a need for deeper work but if it feels pretty clear like you're ready to release this i invite you to hold your hands out in front of you or you can do this in your head too. Imagine you're holding whatever that coping strategy was, the pattern was, maybe not into it. And with a lot of gratitude for the ancestors who developed this as a way to survive, their strength, their courage, their intelligence, and for how well this served them, maybe served you when you were younger too. Let's release this into the universe, to energy and light. Maybe releasing any cords, attaching you to that. Maybe brushing your body, doing cutting motions, shaking it out, whatever feels good. And then imagine that you're bringing into your crown whatever new way you want to have to of relating to the world. Letting that permeate the neural patterns. Bringing it into your whole body, the nervous system. And then bringing it into your heart. Imagining you're filling all four chambers of your heart with this new possibility, knowing this is a gift for you, but also your whole lineage. And then letting it radiate back out. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Feel free to 
press like if you enjoyed that, leave me a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks so much.